Fenders are off. <clears throat> we are pretty much done the bay. Going to get ready to start moving it outside so that we can take the compressor out, blow all the fiberglass off, all the dust, clean it up because it looks meh. Um, and then that allows the paint. So I'll just kind of give you like a run through of how bare she looks right now. There's not a whole lot there, but if you can see through it, I think it's gonna look pretty good. Okay, so fenders are off. Megan's worked her butt off this week, getting the tub or the bay ready. Yeah, tubs are upstairs painted. But yeah, like there is dust everywhere. So we're just gonna push it out because we don't want to blow the dust around in here as hers is basically finished. And it would just make a big mess. But right now I gotta figure out how many grommets I need to buy tomorrow. Cause I gotta run all my wiring through the center. That's the last step. And then we are ready to paint this thing. So I'm gonna do some figuring, make some notes and we'll just do. And there we have it. Fuel, fuel, main, brake booster, the throttle cable and oil pressure sensor with the water temp sensor. Power on ground. Let's go. It looks so silly without any wires there. I think it's gonna look really clean. I hope so. Master crap. Oh, this one's called Master Vac. Ooh, they getting classy. We got her outside. Uh, we're just gonna blow up all the dust because she is filthy everywhere you look. And I did not want to do that inside the shop. And then we'll push it back in and start prepping for paint. How are we gonna clean this bay out while we do it? Because it's gross. Power steering fluid kind of everywhere from rocking the wheels back and forth to be able to check the harness for the headlights in here. <clears throat> but today this is going black and I'm excited to see it. We might shift gears a little bit and work on some arrow while we wait for parts for the motor because it's not quite got everything we need to put it back in. But we're close, we're close. Good. Got me my little helper. My turn? Yeah. Okie dokie. Bay swept. Car's blown down. Looks a little better. Still needs a good like clean, but there's no sense in doing that until it's ready. So we're gonna shake the blanket out that we've been using for laying on. And then we'll push this thing back in. Master Vac for the win. Back inside. Megan is the poly queen. So she was kind enough to poly it off for me. <clears throat> but I'm gonna start running some in between our races here. I'm gonna start getting some uh, wax and grease remover on it. 
and going over the whole thing so that we are pretty much ready to paint. Are we gonna do the rainbow black? Yeah. <clears throat> woo woo. We have a couple cans of that ready to rock and roll. But yeah, I gotta get all the grommets out of the fire wall and then we're just gonna wipe this thing down and make sure it's all good to go. I've got pack cloth ready and then we'll prime it and keep you in the loop. Going to do like a light dust. So basically looking for like a finish like this on the whole base and then we'll let it tack up and it gives it something to bite to. And then we'll come back over it with a little bit of a heavier coat and that should give us a good base for priming. Second coat, if you can see, you can still kind of see through where all the bondo work was done. And you might fully see that until we get to paint. I'm gonna do one more, I think. Nice heavy coat, make sure everything looks good. But like, honestly, it's pretty level for what it is. We're winning. There's coat number three. That one right there, she killed the top half. She did most of the body work for me while I was at work. Jeez. Yeah. We'll let this dry up and then we're gonna turn it black. That's coat number two. We'll probably do one more just for good measure, but I gotta go pick my boy up from school here. Mm -hmm. You know what time it is. That's black. What happens next? If you're not new to this channel, I'm sure you've seen me use this stuff before, at least once or twice. Whoop, spin the can. Duplicolor clear effects. My favorite with the rainbow, like glittery sparkle on. Show you as we go. We'll probably do two coats minimum, maybe three, depending on how sparkly it gets at two. And then it should match tubs and from there and there and there and we've got ceramic down at a buddy's place he's a dealer for adams polish so we bought the adams spray on graphene ceramic coating so we're going to coat this bay probably tomorrow night and then we can start putting the tubs in the front on and then we'll start working on arrow but let's make it look pretty okay first coat of glitter it's really hard to see. But yeah, you can just kind of see like the hue there. And like, oh no, she's looking good. Probably do at least two of these, a couple more coats. And there we go. There you can see the I'm rainbow. Over, it laid beautiful. It looks really sharp. I'm happy, very happy. <laughs> Peeping the new merch. See that? There's a brad support. We have uh, bolted the front end on. We're gonna start doing some like test fits on the lights to make sure that all the wiring reaches. So I gotta start finishing those harnesses before we even bother putting the motor in. So we're gonna start assembling a little bit more here, but I'll show you what this looks together. Tubs are in, bolted down fully. Brad support's on, bolted down fully. Struts are back in, and it looks way different. Look at that. On your point five view, ready? Boom. Wow, I'm shaky tonight. That is clean. I'm really, really hyped about like all the nice angles. Everything's super boxy. It works really well. So let's get some wiring done here and make it look a little bit more like a car. We're gonna put the front bumper back on, grill in everything so that we can start building the arrow for the front end because I'm waiting on a couple parts for the motor. And then once those show up, we'll pull this all back off, but hopefully by then we've got the front splitter and canards built. See where time takes us, but we are pushing. Stance Wars is coming. We need to get a registration in before they close. And I would, I'm aiming for May. 
May is like what's stuck in my head. We've also got a, a local show in May that we really want to attend. It's a good show, so let's see if we can make this happen. Boom. Lights. Glitter. 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 Glitter everywhere. Everybody gets glitter. I don't know what to think. We're gonna do the wiring here and then we'll probably get the front bumper and grill in, which is more glitter. And yeah, we kind of got like a vision here. Nothing looks crazy. So we'll start inside the well. This is still kind of a mess as I don't want to fully finish until this is all on for good. But like wiring comes down, brake line comes over, hits here, hits here, oh, every, it's grounded and held right there, goes behind the brake line. And here I had to cut the headlight harness and lengthen it. And then I also cut the side marker harness and lengthen that. And once this is all tucked up against the wall and loom and nice, it should be fine. Um, same story on the other side. The harness just comes out in a little bit of a different spot and then comes across and I lengthen both over here too. All soldered and shrink wrapped. So we shouldn't have any issues and it should be pretty weatherproof. So here's where we're at. Front bumper's just kind of sitting there right now. Like I don't want to bolt it up. There's no sense. We're just using it for a judge on how far to the ground we're going to have. Cause I've never actually had this thing out without the splitter on and the old splitter had a bend in it. So it was always a little bit of a throw off on where it actually should be. Um, but yeah, like the headlights, Look really good, the paint, you can kind of see. It's hard to tell with the rainbow in there unless it's in the right light. The tub's rainbow, the grill's rainbow. And there we have it. Got all our holes in the back wall for our wiring. And yeah, we're Easter weekend, motor's going in. So I, still, I went and bought some paint for the engine. We're gonna tape that up, spray it. But yeah, like I'm thrilled. That looks really good. There's a couple imperfections, but I get to say that we did it ourselves. And that to me is worth having those couple imperfections.